welcome to the Teaching Corner. Today we're going to talk about an Orton Gillingham resource. When I first started out as an itinerant teacher, my very first year of teaching, I didn't have a lot of money and I was given a hundred dollars and I had kids from pre-k through 12th grade ready go so a hundred dollars doesn't buy a whole lot and I really wish somebody would have told me a good resource that I could use that would uh, go through lots of different grade levels and help me with lots of different kinds of kids so a good Orton Gillingham resource if you don't have any and you don't have a lot of money to spend is this book it's called recipe for reading you can see I've used this a lot but um, the, after I received some Orton Gillingham training, this book was part of the training, and I exclusively used this book for two years. Um, one of the really difficult things when you're just starting to do Orton Gillingham tutoring is lesson planning and having to come up with the words that follow a particular rule and then also trying to use words that have not don't have a phonogram that's going to be used later in the sequence but that you haven't taught yet so that your students will be successful and be able to sound out all the words that you give them so that's one of the things that i really like about this book it does have its own sequence now their sequence is different from the one that i was taught so you can see i've color coded it and highlighted it to go along with my particular sequence but the great thing about this is all of the words that are used in this book follow their sequence so they don't give the students something that they're not going to be able to be successful with. The other thing, like I said, what I love about this is it'll give you some information as the teacher, but then it'll give you words to uh, read and spell so you can pick, like out if you were teaching TH, you could pick X number of words for you to write on the paper or the board and the students to read and then pick some of the words for them to spell and then it has decodable phrases and sentences again for the students to read and to spell as the students get a little bit older it also has what they call magic squares this kind of reminds me of the game boggle when we were kids but it has magic squares that the kids can use to go through the sounds that they're just learning and it's a fun interactive way but another cool thing that I actually really like about this book too is that periodically it reviews and it has a review of different things so you can make tests out of this instead of trying to create it all on your own or think about it yourself because many times that's one of the things that's the most time consuming and can be the most frustrating is to try to come up with all of those materials and resources that you have. Now the one downside to this particular resource is it does just start stop with words and sentences. It doesn't have stories and that's one of the things that most of us need the most. I, I, the back of this book shows various resources and they do have some books. I have not personally used these. If you have, put a comment down below and let us know how you liked it. But if you're in need of books for students that are decodable or I'm assuming that are decodable because again, I didn't have this as a resource for myself, you might use that as a resource. But if you're looking for, I will put a link in the description below below um, of where I found it and I think it was about like $22 so it's not a really expensive resource if you only have like $100 as a new teacher or even if you're just having to buy it out of pocket for yourself I think this is a really good resource to get you started I hope that was helpful if it was please like share and subscribe and I'll see you later bye